Hey guys welcome back to another tutorial and today we are going to create this promotional flyer for a restaurant. So let's get started. First go to file and create a new artboard with these dimensions. Select CMYK color mode if you want to print this promotional flyer. We will be selecting RGB because we want to create it for web only. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. We will apply some gradient shade to it. Go to gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient and invert it. Change the black side of the gradient to a bright yellow shade. And the white side to an orange shade. Note down the RGB codes for these shades. Now we have to create some more background shading. Select the pen tool, and create a triangle shape for background shading. Change its fill color to white. Now we have to copy this triangle in a circular path. Select the rotate tool and click at some vertical distance from this triangle. This will generate the center point of our circular path. Hold down the ALT key and click and drag to create a copy. Now press CTRL D several times to repeat the last action. And stop once a full circle is completed. Slightly adjust the last copy. Select all these triangles and press Ctrl G to group them. Decrease the opacity to 5 to 10%. And align them to the center of the artboard. Now we have to add some food image here. Drag a food image in Illustrator. If you want to use this same image in your design, you can find it in the video description. Now we will create some shadow for this food. Select the ellipse tool and create an ellipse. Set the fill color to black. and send it behind the food image. Adjust the ellipse according to your food image. Now go to effect and apply some blur effect to the ellipse. Click on preview and select a suitable value for the blur. Select any value that you like and hit OK. You can adjust the position of the ellipse as you like. Now we will add some headline text. Note down the font that I am using. But you can use any other font. Change its color to a darker shade. Note down the RGB code for this shade. Adjust the font size and alignment. Copy this and add some more text. Change the font accordingly. 
and adjust the font size. And from the character panel, set the tracking to a larger value around 5 to 600. You can also apply a small stroke to the text. You can add your logo at the top left corner. I will create a sample logo for this tutorial just to give you an idea. It is just a dummy logo so you don't need to create it. Just add your own logo here. Now add some content at the bottom. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle. Change its fill color to the same dark shade. Go to effect and round the corners of this rectangle. Select the type tool and add some text. Change its color to white. And align it to the center of the rectangle. And adjust the font size accordingly. Create a copy and add some contact info. Select this text and align it to the bottom right corner. Create a text box and add some more text about the food product. I will go to lipsum.com to copy some random text. Take your time to adjust this text box in the bottom left corner. Now we will add some discount offer here to grab the attention. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle. Change its color to the same shade. Select the pen tool and create some curve shape for discount offer.
you can create any other shape that you like. Select both these shapes, and in the Pathfinder window. Click on Unite to join them. Now add a discount offer. Adjust this text inside the shape. The flyer is now complete, but you can add some text here if you want to. Now select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Now press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object. Clipping Mask and Make. And here is the final output. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.